I'm going to give you a formula, but it's more of I'm going to try and explain the concept of it. Okay. The area of the sector of a circle, if we're thinking about, we're talking about a portion of the entire circle. So if we're talking about area, we need to start by finding the area of the whole thing. Pi r squared is going to give us the area of the entire circle. But say we only wanted to find, let's say that the sector was a quarter of the circle. You find the whole area and multiply by one fourth. Well, what if it's not so cut and dry as a quarter? What if it's, okay, my uh, my central angle, like the warm up, 115 degrees? Well, that's not a nice exact portion necessarily of the circle. So we just put the 115 degrees over 360. Now, if this is in uh, radians, we could just substitute this part with theta over 2 pi. Okay, you're just talking about the angle that we're given over the entire circle. So degrees, radians, same concept, angle over total times the entire area is going to allow us to find the area of the sector of the circle. So let's do a few examples. If our radius is 4 yards and our angle is 55 degrees, uh, now, there's nothing special about the order of this equation. You can, I explained it by finding the area first and then multiplying it by the ratio. It does not matter. Order of, order, order of multiplication does not matter. <clears throat> so our area would be uh, pi times the radius squared times our angle over 360 degrees. Your angle over the total angle in a circle, 360. And we're just going to multiply it all out. Pi times 16 times 55 over 360. You can put that in parentheses if you want to, but it's not really necessary uh, for these problems. Or my units, yards. And let's see here, area would be yards squared. Area is always squared. Now I encourage you to make sure that your answer makes sense. Compare that to the area of the entire circle. So 16 pi, the entire circle is about 50.3. <clears throat> so our answer kind of makes sense. Okay, 55 degrees, that's not very much of this entire circle, um, so it should be a smaller amount. Okay, nowhere near half, nowhere near, not even kind of close to a fourth, but um, that would be the closest thing. 55 degrees, a fourth would be 90 degrees. Okay, what in example B, we've got the diameter is 10 meters and theta is 280 degrees. So what do we need to do to find the whole area? Is it 10 squared pi? Is it 100 pi? No, it would be half of that because that's the diameter. So the radius is 5. So it would be 5 squared pi, which is 25 pi, which is approximately 78.5. Now, I don't want you to use that rounded number in your calculations. Okay, I just want you to use it for making sense of your answer later on. So our area is 25 pi times 280 over 360. Oops. Oops. Too many times. 61. 0.067 square meters. Now, in this case, 280 degrees, that's more than three-fourths of your circle. So it makes sense that that number should be closer to the whole area number. Okay, one more example. Let's do one with a radius and theta is in radians. So we don't have to do any extra work to figure out the whole area. We have the radius, so it's just 9 pi, which is approximately 28.3 is approximately our whole area. 
So the area of our sector is 9 pi times, now you do have to be careful with parentheses here, 4 pi over 5 over 2 pi. So make sure that you pay attention to what I do when I type these in. 9 pi, you don't need parentheses around it. You can if you really want to, but you don't have to. We've got to put the 4 pi over 5 in parentheses, in its own set of parentheses, divided by 2 pi needs its own set of parentheses because we're dividing by 2 times pi. So if you don't put parentheses around it, it's going to mess up the order of operations. <clears throat> so our area is approximately 11.331. I'm rounding the two decimal places there. Square centimeters. 4 pi over 5. Four-fifths is a little bit less than one, so it's almost half of our circle, but not quite. So half would be about 14, so that answer makes sense. Okay, so I'm just encouraging you to do this in case, you know, if, if you left out your parentheses, <clears throat> uh, particularly with the two pi, if you left those off, this is what you would get, 111.62. Clearly that does not make sense because the whole area is only 28. So getting 111, something's wrong. Right? Um, so you've got to make sure you put parentheses around the angle on top and on the two pi on the bottom if you're ready. Or if you really want to, you could convert your radians to degrees. You could convert your radians to degrees and just do the degrees over 360 and not have to worry about the parentheses. It's up to you. I don't think it's that hard to remember the parentheses, but that's, that's an option if you're interested. Okay? So let's practice a 